Oh crud. <laughs> it looks like first flight of the year. I have a dilemma. I was doing a little bit of flying out here on this dirt road where you can see there's nobody out here. The only thing out here is me, my Jeep. Oh, look at those lights. And that would be my drone. Got a little off track while I was trying to follow the Jeep. And I definitely wasn't as high as I thought I was. Now the question is, how to get to the dang thing? Because there's a problem. Look at this tree. Look at the thorns on this thing. About the only thing I wanted to do today was get out and go flying the first time in a while. 2018, a new year, give it a go. Got the drone up in the air. All was looking pretty good, got it lined up. Started forward and followed my Jeep. Now, I don't have obstacle avoidance. Nor did I have a pilot, so I was on my own and it didn't work out too well. Yep, there it is. I crashed it right into the tree. Started looking around. There she sat, all by herself. Drive up and see about going and getting it. Time to step out and assess the situation and wait for my buddy. And wait for my buddy. About an hour later, he finally brought my ladder. I was like, I'm the guy that I, that I told him, go ahead and bring the ladder. The Jeep's only, or the, the, the Jeep. The, uh, the drone's only about 10 feet off the ground. I got a 12 foot step ladder. As you can see, getting the step ladder up against that 30, 30 tree was a little bit of a challenge. And then, come to find out, it was about two to three feet short. All the while I haven't been too worried because I looked at the drone and the gimbal was still in place and it was still recording. I just couldn't turn it off so I just sat there and blinked and blinked and blinked and blinked. But thanks to Weston's help, I was able to get it down. No worries and it's ready to fly again. So my little drone will live to tell the story another day. Spin one motor. Spin another. Spin another. Last time I ran into a tree, it broke some props. It broke the gimbal, which fired up right there, and tore the body up, and I had to buy a spare drone and put it together. At least this time it all worked out. So that's my story of my drone crashing into a tree. Time to wrap it up and call it a night. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.